Well, Tyler, kind of walk us through the conversations in the locker room right now. Obviously not the start you wanted, but you have the opportunity to get plenty of practice time and one-on-one -on -one sessions. I mean, how is everybody approaching this upcoming weekend against Chicago? Uh, kind of with a fresh slate. You know, I think we're, we're a competitive group of guys. Nobody likes to lose. Um, but I think after some of the tempers have kind of, uh, you know, passed over from the games that have not gone our way so far. I think, you know, we look at something, some of the things that we do and we see some of the potential that we have. Uh, so it's just a matter of getting all on the same page and putting it all together. Uh, you know, we're, we're in every game. Our goal is giving us a chance every game. And uh, we got a lot of skilled guys, so we're going to score goals. So I think it's not a matter of getting frustrated right now and uh, just sticking with the approach that we have. How much pressure are you putting on yourself personally? You are wearing a, a, a leadership letter out there on your uniform. Is that something where you're pulling? Maybe some of the younger guys who are showing a lot of frustrations just to, you know, maybe pace yourself, calm down, and, and be able to spread it out because it is a pretty long year to begin with. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, as, as I've learned throughout the years, when you, when you wear a letter, you don't have to try to do too much. I think there's a reason why uh, you were selected to be in a leadership role. So I try to do the things that, uh, that I do regardless. And, and one of those things would be helping out teammates or something. So, uh, you know, last game, I think we, we could handle the momentum swings a little bit better and uh, our frustrations a little bit better. Um, and it's just a matter of focusing on that next play and getting that mindset. Because like you said, we have a lot of young guys and, um, you know, they want to make an impression and try to play in the NHL. So, uh, you know, you might have missed the first couple games and you jump in for the last game. You're trying to do uh, something to get noticed or uh, whatever the case may be. It's just a matter of um, focusing on that next play and getting better as a team. You guys have been jumping out to the leads in these games. Um, Coach, did you kind of maybe get away from your style a little bit though as the periods go on maybe try to do a little too much how do you combat that and just kind of and kind of do you guys well, i think we need to remember what makes us successful uh, i think we have a lot of energy to start games like you said we've been scoring early and getting off to good starts and then in the second period i think we're hoping that it's going to open up a little bit but um you know we're playing in uh, uh, you know one of the best leagues in the world and, it, and there's not a whole lot of room out there so sometimes in the second period or uh, with that long change, you might try to make a play that you think is there, and um, and they're turning it the other way. They're still pretty tight defensively uh, throughout all three games. I think you know there hasn't been a ton of offense, uh, a ton of like rush chances and stuff. But uh, I think it's just a matter of sticking with it and uh, establishing an identity for our team in a in a minimum level that's high. So okay, maybe we're not scoring goals, but we're not playing in our end and. We're grind, 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 and then we'll get uh, our chances and our skill will take over from there.